Hi, welcome to Live Like an Athlete. The mind is so important in athletic performance. In fact, if you ask anybody, you know, how much is the mental part worth in your sport? Most people will say at least 50%. But then you might ask, well, how much time do you actually spend practicing mentally? And they'll say, no, no time. We can practice mentally. In fact, at University of North Texas, when I was majoring in sports psychology, we did seven studies proving the effectiveness of mental imagery on karate performance specifically. And you could Google karate performance and Tom Seaborn and sports psychology and you'll see those studies. And they're in, they're in referee journals, so it would be maybe fun for you to look at. But anyway, one of our studies dealt with the effect of activation prior to imagery. And here's what I mean. We had students, some of them sitting, closing their eyes, breathing from their diaphragm, and just imagining themselves throwing punches and kicks. Then we had another group of 30 students, not only just imagining it in their mind, but actually going through the motions on a subtle level. So they weren't throwing the actual kick, but they were just moving subtly, so that instead of extending a punch, they would just go like that. But the mind-to-muscle connection is such a powerful tool when you're using imagery plus a little bit of what we'll call shadow boxing that those students improved much more effectively than the students that just closed their eyes and did imagery from the relaxed position. So try activation imagery. It's simply moving while you're visualizing the trajectory of the punch and the kick. You could use it in tennis, you could use it in baseball, you could use it in any sport. Thanks for joining us for Live Like an Athlete. See you next week.